A PIR or passive infrared sensor is a very interesting component. It can be used in a lot of Internet of Things and automation projects. Here is how it works. A PIR sensor measures infrared light emitted from objects that generate heat and therefore infrared radiation in its field of view. It does not detect the radiation itself but actually the change that occurs when a target enters its field. The change in the amount of infrared radiation, which happens when an object crosses its field of view, results in a change in the voltage that is generated from its signal pin. The PIR sensor has three pins. Here on the right, VCC, or power, which is typically connected to 5 volts, a ground pin, which is connected to ground, and in the middle here is a signal pin or an out pin. In a normal state, the signal pin outputs a low signal. When motion is detected, however, it outputs a high signal on its output pin. By looking for this change from low to high, that is how we can tell that motion occurred. We will be connecting this PIR sensor to our Raspberry Pi and using it to detect motion. This has a lot of applications and can be used in a security project, such as if motion is detected, an alarm can sound, lights can be turned on, or a text message can be sent.